Mr. Chairman, and to the Credentials Committee. My name is Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer. She was born on October 6, 1917, in Montgomery County, Mississippi, as the last of 20 children. At age 6, Hamer joined her family picking cotton. By the age 12, she left school to work, but continued to learn how to read through Bible study. In 1944, she married Perry Hammer, and the couple moved to a plantation owned by B.D. Marlowe. In 1961, Hammer received a hysterectomy by a white doctor without her consent while undergoing surgery to remove a tumor. Unable to have children, the Hammers adopted two daughters. The forced sterilization compelled her to fight for human rights. She became a student nonviolent coordinating committee organizer to help black people register to vote. And on August 31st, 1962, Hammer and 17 others went to register but were required to take a literacy test which everyone failed that day she was fired from her job and marlo confiscated much of her property for her attempt to vote when she eventually successfully registered to vote hammer and several other black women were arrested and brutally beaten leaving lifelong injuries Come 1964, Hammer became a national figure as she co-founded the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party because the Democratic Party in Mississippi barred black participation. Hammer and the other members went to the Democratic National Convention to be recognized as the official delegation. Four years later, Hammer's vision became reality and Hammer was a member of Mississippi's first integrated delegation. She also helped organize Freedom Summer, which brought hundreds of college students, black and white, to help African-American voter registration in the segregated South. She later ran unsuccessfully for Congress in 1964 and in a special election in 1965. Frustrated by the political process, Hammer turned to economics as a strategy to raise racial equality. She began a pig bank to provide free pigs for black farmers and it later expanded by launching the Freedom Farm Cooperative, buying up land that blacks could own and farm collectively, and single-handedly ensuring that 200 units of low-income housing were built. Hammer was one of the most influential and powerful voices of the civil and voting rights movements and an advocate for increased economic opportunities for African Americans.